With all the new gear Wendy had acquired, she felt ready to head back and check on her old farm. However, when she arrived, only crimson infected ruins were left. And she could see that the crimson was spreading towards her new home. There was a large hive that had formed near the ruined farm, so Wendy decided to enter the tunnels to look for a way to stop the spreading crimson. She had to prevent this from happening to the new life she had built. Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Journey's End Master Mode Let's Play episode. We are doing a melee only playthrough, and last episode we defeated the King Slime Goblin Army and the Eye of Cthulhu. So we've got a Cthulhu dash now, and we did a ton of fishing. I did a bunch more fishing in between episodes as well. I've got the frog leg now, and we've got some more bass and bombfish, as well as some more crates. So I wanted to go ahead and open up some of these and see what we find. Oh, another tsunami in a bottle. And yeah, looks like we got a few items here. Obsidian skin potion, that's actually really helpful. The most important thing was getting our frog legs so we can combine them with our sailfish boots, but we don't have the goblin tinkerer yet, so we gotta wait on that. I think we weren't having enough fishing power, but with the upgraded flesh catcher, we were able to bump our fishing power up quite a bit. Another thing I wanted to show you really quickly is I made a quick NPC prison, and unfortunately our guide got put in there, so let's actually switch him with the arms dealer. So now we can move the guide into this house, and I think that will be a much more comfortable place for him to stay. The reason I built this little NPC prison is it's just gonna be a temporary place to have our NPCs show up while we wait for the build contest to finish. And then once when I have the build selected from the contest, we'll be able to move them into the world and then we'll get rid of this. Hello, this is me from the future. I just wanted to mention that I'm currently editing the video and the build competition has finished. So I've selected the builds and I'll have those showcased at the end of this episode. So be sure to stay tuned because it'll be a pretty cool reveal. I also want to defeat the Brain of Cthulhu this episode, but I feel like it'd be good to get a couple more power-ups from the desert. If we zoom out a little bit, we can actually use our Star Fury to basically map out this area. So we should be able to find different houses and stuff much easier. Let's use some potions. I'll put my piggy bank down. I'm just storing a lot of potions in my piggy bank. I feel like that will help quite a bit. We we'll use a danger sense, a mining, and yeah, we should be able to find some underground treasure really fast now, especially now that we've got bombs. We can just blow up the desert and find these underground houses. I really want to get that spear and see how good it is before we fully upgrade past it. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of larva. Man, these things don't do any damage to me anymore, though. It's crazy how much getting some defense changes things in master mode. This is like the opposite of what we were doing last time. <laughs> now we are just like going crazy, blowing everything up and opening up all the rooms instead of trying to constantly close things off. Uh-oh. We just got in a sand trap. Oh, well, that's horrible. Oh my gosh, that almost killed me. I've never seen that before. I saw the little trap right as I walked under it, but I'm usually not looking for traps in this biome. And it was all dark and stuff, so I couldn't see which sand was blocking me. Whew, that was scary. Okay, I'm so surprised. Still no houses. Ooh, but we did find a treasure. We got a magic conch shell. Sweet. It says if you listen closely, you can hear the ocean. So we'll have to see what that does later. Oh my gosh, that did so much damage to us. We almost died. We gotta block ourselves in. Wait a second so we can heal. <laughs> so far in master mode, it's kind of crazy, but we've only died once, and that was in episode one at the end. But I know we're gonna die a lot more soon, but I'm in no rush to start dying. I kind of like the fact that we're staying alive. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I jinxed myself. Did that literally bounce, hit another cactus, and then the other cactus rolled into me? I think that's what happened. Oh man. There I was talking about how many times I've died, and then 
we go straight away and die. Oh my gosh, the magic conch shell teleports you to the ocean. It's like an unlimited ocean teleporter potion, like the alchemist NPC sells. That is awesome. Now we can explore and find some underground houses, hopefully, in this treacherous biome. Oh no, we're going to blow ourselves up. No, <laughs> we're making so many mistakes. <laughs> this desert has been so underwhelming. We've explored most of it, or a lot of it, and we've barely gotten anything. Uh-oh, we're kind of trapped in here. No! It's too many enemies. Okay, we need to wall this room in a little bit. Oh, we did get some sort of bandana thing right here, though. Oh no, another death. I didn't even realize I was low on health there. With all the ore we've got, I think we can craft some more gold bars. And then let's just go ahead and finish off our gold armor. And that will give us our set bonus of 3 defense, which will bump us up to 32 defense already, which is really pretty impressive for this early in the game. Okay, so it is back to the desert we go. Hopefully we can find some treasure. Oh, we had the traveling merchant we needed to check as well, so that's good that we came back. He's not really selling much, so I'm going to skip it for now. Okay, so let's keep on exploring. I put on a mining potion, so we should be good to move pretty quickly through this. And this time, I'm going to be a lot more careful and not just go nuts with using bombs and everything, because that just kind of opens up too many areas for enemies. Ooh, we have a golfer NPC now. Excellent. So we talk to him real quick, make sure we don't lose him. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is bad. Almost killed the golfer NPC by accident there. It looks like he sells all of the golfing stuff, but that's pretty sweet. I definitely want to try golfing out sometime. Oh, thank goodness for the knockback of a spear. Just holding all these antlions back. Oh my goodness. I think we finally found our first desert house. It seems a little bit unreal. But we finally got it. Uh-oh. And we're probably going to die. Oh, crud. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got the Dune Rider boots. Very nice. That's actually pretty exciting. Here we go, we got another house. I'm excited. Finally starting to get some houses in here. Yes, we got the Storm Spear. Oh my gosh. I was starting to give up hope. We've been in the desert for so long. And we finally got it. Yes, I'm so excited. I've wanted to get this spear since I first saw it. It looks so cool. And let's see how much damage. Ooh, it does a lot more damage than what we've been using. And I like that it lights up the room. It shoots a, like, electric spark. Pretty sweet. I'm kind of done with the desert. Let me show you how much of the desert we've explored. And it is slow going in master mode, exploring the desert. But we've gotten through enough to get our spear. So I think it's time to head on over to the Crimson and maybe we can fight the next boss. It has been a while since I fought the Brain of Cthulhu, but I'm excited to see how the fight goes. Before we go though, we should probably go grab some bombs. This spear is going to be really helpful against the Brain of Cthulhu because the knockback is really crucial for that fight. I think we have enough potions now. We've got a Danger Sense, Hunter, Thorns, and an Iron Skin. And then we've got Well Fed. So I think we're going to be good to go to fight the Brain of Cthulhu, I hope at least. I actually have very little experience with the Brain of Cthulhu because I almost always do Corruption Worlds. So I thought it would be a different change of pace to do 
a crimson and also the spear from the crimson was something I wanted to get. Okay, so I guess we can start throwing some bombs and hopefully enter here. There we go. Man, the enemies in here are pretty strong. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is cap off some of these right here. And that way we're not just getting overrun by spiders while we try to summon the boss and build our arena. So let's just do that. And I think we're almost good. This one looks like we don't need to cap it off. So now we can just start setting up some platforms. And we can hang a heart lantern right here. And we should have our full buffs now. Now we just need to get the boss summoned and hope for the best. This can be a pretty tricky boss fight if you're not prepared for it. Okay, so we just need to craft some sticky bombs. Start this up and let's get into the arena before anything happens and try to kill these guys and put on our buffs. We gotta keep these guys knocked back so they can't hit us and then run <laughs> from this boss. Oh my gosh, these have a lot of health. Why are their enemies still spawning? And we still have our dash from the Shield of Cthulhu as well. So that can help us out quite a bit. Can kind of help us evade some of this damage. Whew. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm just going to pop my first heal. It looks like I've been slowed or poisoned or something. Okay, slowly but surely, we are getting these little guys down. I wonder if any of our other weapons are going to do better. Okay, doesn't look like our other weapons are doing any better. It looks like our spear is our best one. Okay, at least we're starting to get some tissue samples. This is so much harder than what I remember it being. Okay, now we just need to wait for our health to come back a little bit before we go into the second form. Okay, well we started up the next phase. 
No crud. Man, these spiders are really annoying. Okay, well at least we're getting some damage on them. And the knockback that we've got is pretty good. Oh no, that spider messed us up so much. Oh my gosh, we got him. Yes, we got him. Oh, that was close. Oh my gosh, that was a close fight. Whew, my heart's racing. I did not want to have to redo that fight. Just the sheer amount of health that boss had and all of the little spawns. I mean, that took me like several minutes to do that fight because all of our buffs are about to wear off. Whew, yes, we did it. <laughs> And let's see what we got in our treasure bag. We got the Brain of Confusion, and we have the Brain Relic. Pretty awesome. The main thing is the tissue samples, which we can now take back to our base and craft the next armor tier. I also want to blow up a couple more orbs before we leave, because that'll be nice to maybe get the spear that we were looking for originally. Yes, there we go. So we can craft a bunch of Crimtain bars. And then now that we've got our tissue samples, we can do our Crimson armor, which is actually surprisingly good because of the health regen benefits. And then we can craft our Crimson pickaxe. Let's try the meatball. And it looks like we can also craft the blood butcher. So let's do that as well. Now let's put on our new armor. We've got 29 defense and with it, we've got 32. Plus, the Crimson Armor has a set bonus of greatly increasing life regen. And let's see what rolls we got. We got the Broken Meatball and the Unhappy Blood Butcher. <laughs> We're getting such bad rolls this playthrough. But it's fine. We will get our Goblin Tinkerer soon enough, and then we can get all the good rolls we want. So I just put our gold armor up on display. That looks pretty sweet. Another thing I wanted to mention is that the build contest has concluded. We had so many awesome submissions. Let's go ahead and look at some of the builds that were added from the build contest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk through the left side of the map and then I'll go through the right side of the map and show you all the builds that have been added. So the builds are in no particular order, but the one right here near the base is actually from the very generic username. He's the one that created the Discord for Rito Gaming and manages it and does all that stuff. So I've added the name of the builder, which is the very generic username. And per his request, I've got a plug for the Discord. The invite link is in the description of the videos. It's a pretty sweet build, and I really like the way it looks and everything, and it's just like the perfect size to fit on top of this little hill beside our base. This next build is an awesome overworld mushroom biome build, and we're going to have to be really careful because this ladybug will mess us up. So this was submitted by Zorai, and it's a really cool place for our mushroom NPC to spawn during hard mode. This is a build that I added, and if you've watched the intro of the series, you'll recognize this as Wendy's first house. It was destroyed by the Dread Nautilus during a blood moon. So yeah, I wanted to add the ruins. Several people had recommended that I do it. I think it's a great idea. And it, I think it turned out pretty cool. I wanted it to kind of look like it got hit and some of the stuff that was in here kind of got strewn about. And you can see there's some rubble on the ground and it's all broken up. The next build that was selected from the submissions is this amazing tavern built by the Devourer of Gods. He also mentioned that Taco Cat helped build this, and I think it turned out amazing. There's so much detail, and it really sticks with the theme of having, you know, all the different barrels and things down here with a little cellar. And it's even got a cool reference to chaos right there. Very nice. And a nice building area. 
really cool, so much detail, really love this. And a little merchant shop out in front with some fish hanging out here. And here we've got the sign showing that it was built by the Devourer of Gods and Taco Cat. So let's head on over to the ocean where we've got, I think, the final build from this side of the map. We have a little village built by Poi, and it is pretty sweet. You've got different houses here and a teleporter and these kind of blacked out bubble blocks that show up as doors. I love the way this feels like a little ocean village and it really just reminds me of being on vacation. Oh look, there's even a dolphin out there. Pretty sweet. So yeah, that's why I picked this one. I think it looks really awesome. I love the two-story house idea here. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention is that I removed this NPC prison that I had earlier in the episode. And I think it looks a lot better without that. And then I also removed this big hill because it just got in the way all the time. So that's gone now. And now we have more of a flat area to fight bosses over here. So here we are in the desert and we have another awesome build submitted by Poi. And yeah, this is a desert temple and it looks pretty sweet. I love the pillars and the beetle and all sorts of really cool stuff added to it. And he used invisible blocks here to make valid NPC housing, which I thought was a cool way to do that. And now let's keep on heading to the east and see what other builds we've got. Ooh, we have a meteorite that landed. So we're gonna have to take care of that in episode five for sure. We could get some lightsabers, that'd be fun. So this house right here is a build from Yuko. It's just a really cool jungle bungalow. I think these ropes and bridges and different fence blocks make the build look so cool with these hanging lanterns. It's really nice and I love the way that there's like a pond with bamboo and these different poles sticking into the ground with different textures on them. So I think it's really great. And so yeah, this is another build that has been added to Wendy's World. This build right here is a haunted mansion with gravestones underneath the base. And it is such a cool base with so much detail and so much character. And so I wanted to add this to like a crimson biome because it kind of feels like ruins of a settlement that was maybe taken over by the crimson or something like that. So that was just kind of what I thought about as far as where I would put this. But yeah, I really like this base. The builder for this haunted mansion is Zorai as well. So thank you Zorai for building this awesome mansion. And that concludes the showcase of the awesome builds that were added in the build contest. Once again, I want to thank everybody who submitted different builds for this build contest. It was such a cool experience to look through everybody's builds and definitely inspired me to do more building. And yeah, I just love all the different builds, even the ones I wasn't able to add. And I'm so excited to have lots of your creations as part of Wendy's world. And that will wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've had a good time and enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you wanna see all of the build submissions, be sure to check out the Discord channel. The link is in the description of the video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.